Oh my actual god. I have got him a wit. I bought a blow up flamingo. I'm gonna do you a little haul. How gorgeous. Definitely a good one for holidays. Hold up. Okay, I'm very aware that this isn't a good look for me. Like, I know that this top doesn't suit me, but I just have no tops that match these trousers. No. No, and I really no. didn't want to wear different pair of trousers. So, good morning. I'm now in Tom's car. It is vlog day two of the summer, and today we're going into town, and we're just picking up a few bits. I have quite a lot of things to get because I actually go to Ibiza tomorrow when you're watching this. Um, well, I go to Jenny's house tomorrow but I actually fly on Sunday. But I still have to get Euros, I still have to get sun cream, and I want to pick up a couple of different things from Holland and Barrett, which sounds really random, but I want to talk to you a little bit in this video about like health and like what's going on and stuff at the moment. So um, that is the plan. Tom is here. We're actually gonna walk to town just cause it's healthy and I do have hair. It's Although in... we are currently sat in a car. Well we are cause, cause picked he, he up. picked me up from my house cause town is so much closer to Tom's house than my house. I say so much, not massively, but Literally like five minutes. On that ten minutes. Fifteen minute walk. So yeah, that is the plan. We're gonna walk into town and when I get home I am gonna get changed and get ready properly. I just hadn't I literally got ready in fifteen minutes, so I didn't have time to pick a nice outfit and I'm so aware that my makeup doesn't look great. But we're gonna head into town and <laughs> I will show you what we get because I'm really excited to get stuff on my holiday. Oh my actual god. I don't know what I was expecting. Tom and I went to Hotel Chocolate, which opened in Beverly probably about six months ago, and we've both got dark hot chocolates. But I don't really like dark chocolate, but I'm just trying to be healthier today and this week, which I'm going to talk to you about later. I know this isn't healthy, but I also got it with oat milk instead of milk. So yeah, I'm excited to try it. Is it strong? It is, yeah. And that was an E85. Well, I say on the 85. They do 100%. 100% dark chocolate. That'll be like intense. I have got him a whip. Haven't I offered? Yeah, you offered. You offered. Do you want me to carry your bag? Yeah. I was like, Tom, please could you carry this? Or did I show you that I bought this? I bought a blow up flamingo for the pool on holiday and I was like, Tom, please may you carry the flamingo. But no. Just my masculinity. No, I'm joking. I don't so really care. No, I would homework. carry either. I don't mind. I just thought this was heavier for you. It is heavier. I'd rather carry the flamingo. Well, there you are then. Stop complaining. Okay. Okay, I'm now back in the car, but I'm actually in my dad's car. My dad has just got back from a week, basically, in Canada. Uh, how holiday. was it? Okay. Holiday. It was not a holiday. It was, well, it was a holiday. It was meant to be working, but he just kept sending me pictures of Niagara Falls and the Toronto Tower. I was like, have you done any work? Yeah, cool. Sum it up in three words. Amazing, awesome, spectacular. They're essentially all the same word, but okay. But yeah, basically, we're popping to Morrison's now because I wanted to stick to my gluten-free, but there's literally no gluten-free in the house at all, anywhere, so off we pop to Morrison's. Also, guys, I'm going to talk to you a bit more about this, but if you um, try gluten-free or, for example, if you like celiac, I think it is, suggest me some meal ideas. I don't want individual foods because I know what's gluten-free and what isn't, but it's really difficult to try and have a meal. Like, that's where it's difficult because I want a lunch, but I don't know what I want because I don't know what I can have. So that would be really helpful if any of you have any suggestions. They're buying all of this gluten-free. Some of this is for my dad. I know they're not gluten-free. They're not mine. They're for Harry. Oh, for Harry. Okay, so got a little free from haul. We've got some free from jam tart, some free from um, paninis, some tuna and sweet corn, which is not gluten-free. Um, but actually, I presume it is gluten-free. Yeah, I mean, it's got... Um, it's not free from because it's got dairy in. Then I've got gluten-free crisp snack things and then some gluten-free pasta for tonight. Basically, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about why I'm doing this because if you know me in real life, you'll know that for a couple of months now, kind of probably, to be honest, it's been my whole life, but it's been noticeably worse in the last couple of months. I have had really bad stomach pains after I've eaten and it's really frustrating, it's really annoying. Um, and basically what it feels like is like I eat a meal and then about an hour afterwards I get really bad like cramping um, in my tummy and it's not linked to anything else, it's literally just after I eat. Um, and it's also sometimes like if I really need the toilet TMI, I know, but like even sometimes if I just need a wee, like my tummy will like cramp. It's really weird, um, but it's noticeably after I've eaten food, like it's really, really obvious. I bloat really badly and it's so difficult to, I'm being fully judged by the woman walking past the car. It's so difficult to work out what it is without having allergy tests done. And I am actually having allergy tests for my skin. Um, I sound so problematic. I hate being that person that's like, oh my God, I have this and I think I'm gonna try this and I might be allergic to that. And like, I hate that, but it's just what's going on. So my tummy has been really hurting me for probably like 
noticeably the last two months to the point where after I've eaten I feel like I've eaten too much even when I just eat a normal amount I feel like quite sick after I've eaten and then because I'm really emetophobic anyway that then sends my brain into overdrive because I think oh my god I'm sick like I'm gonna be sick I'm ill I'm not very well and then I panic and then that makes it worse so that's a vicious circle but then also aside from the nausea I get really bad stomach pains after I've eaten um, so I think I must be allergic or intolerant to something that I'm eating. It's just really difficult to work out what it is. Personally, I don't know if it is gluten. You can just become intolerant to gluten almost overnight. I spoke to my dermatologist about it actually because that could have been what was causing my rash. Um, but we don't think it is that. And you can just pick up an allergy. We're actually leaving now one second. I'll carry on the conversation in a minute. Just telling them about all my problems. So yeah, I, I'm actually really sick of it. And it's so annoying because like when I was when I was in London and stuff it's just really annoying because I'm trying to look at what I'm eating but it's not that I don't want to eat because I am hungry but I'm just like cautious of what it is in case it makes me get a tummy ache or it makes me feel sick or whatever it is that's causing it if I don't know what it is it makes it really difficult so I'm gonna try I mean I don't have very long to trial this and I know you have to cut it out of your diet for like months on end to notice a proper difference but I thought it might help me to just not eat anything not natural today to see if it does make me feel better and obviously with me going on holiday it's gonna be so difficult when I'm abroad because I am fussy as an eater as it is like when I'm abroad I am um, very very aware of what i'm eating i don't eat meat because i get really paranoid about getting food poisoning so it's really difficult and if i'm trying to not eat gluten essentially i'm either gonna have to take all of my own food or just deal with it jenny's in for a whale of a time with you and erin <laughs> We're just gonna see. I went this morning to Holland and Barrett, as I mentioned, and I got some probiotics, um, which are meant to really help your digestive system. Because I think, again, it's another thing that's really obvious when you're abroad. I always find, personally, that I like always end up with a tummy ache when I'm on holiday because it's like different. I don't know why, when you're on holiday, do you have this? No. When you go abroad, is it more difficult to poo? Well, you go to America. It's I read cold. the back of that leaflet. Do you know what it actually is? When your body travels on a flight that's long haul, you're like becoming like unaware of what time zone you're in, and then your body literally shuts down. It starts shutting down because it doesn't understand. Like it's all on the timings that you're eating, and because you're out of sync. Not so much in Europe because the time differences aren't massive, but when you're in America, because the time differences are so much, your body's very confused. So yeah, I bought some of those because that's meant to help you when you're traveling. I also bought peppermint capsules because that's meant to be good for your digestion. Also bought ginger because that's meant to be good for calming your stomach. And I bought a heck of a lot of natural snacks. So that's my health update. And when I get home, I'm gonna give you a haul. Not of the healthy stuff, of my new clothes. Okay, I'm back home. I had my lunch and I've just been sat like talking to my mum and editing for basically two hours. Um, and my hair's not looking its finest, but I'm gonna do you a little haul. A while ago, my friend Liv sent me a load of clothes, um, or links to clothes, and was like, I think these would really suit you. Pick some and see what they look like. So I picked two things off Boohoo because meant to be on a clothing ban. I wanted to show you them because I thought it was quite cool. I just picked out random um, the ones I thought would suit me out of a list Liv gave me. So essentially, Liv has done this little mini haul. The first thing I got was a co-ord set from Boohoo and I've wanted something like this for a while and this is gonna be so clueless but I just think that um, it kind of suits me that vibe. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the film Clueless, I'll insert a picture. Um, but yeah, I got this co-ord. So there is this tiny weeny little crop top and then the matching skirt. Now the skirt is high waisted, so that is probably for the best. And I think this is gonna look so nice. I'm gonna try it on for you. But I think I might wear this to summer in the city if it fits. So might keep the outfit. And then the second thing I bought was this stripey t-shirt, which my friend Eve has also bought because Liv sent her it too. Um, and it's just stripes with like every color on it. So I thought that was really cool. I got it in a medium. I probably should have got it in a small, but I think it'll look cute just like tied in a knot or like with some shorts. So that is that. This was also super exciting, but Beauty Bay let me pick some stuff off of their website. So I was allowed to pick two things and I'm gonna show you what I got. The first one is the Violet Voss Pro, like a boss palette and I've wanted this for so long. I originally looked at the pink shaded one and then I saw this and I thought, this has more options in it. So this is this palette. How gorgeous is this? I'm gonna leave it linked down below because I think this is just for everybody. It's been 
so so long since I have got a new eyeshadow palette and I'm just so excited to use it especially these green shades down here are going to be so perfect for my prom I'm excited for you to see my dress that video is going to be up next Friday so a week today so that is the like a boss palette linked down below really gorgeous and I have it on today the eyeshadow is such good quality I went for a really bland makeup look I got ready in 15 minutes and then the second thing that I actually picked was a Jeffree Star lipstick which I have actually never tried before and this is in the shade Calab Calabasas Calabasas um, and it was the lipstick I had on this morning I think this will look better with the tan famous line but yeah it just looks like this I'm so excited to to start using it and then lastly as my dad was in Canada he picked me up some pocket backpacks from Bath and Body Works now I didn't ask him to get me candles or anything like that just because they would have been heavy to bring back and I don't really burn candles I just kind of keep them so I got five of the pocket backpacks and they're like my favorite so yeah I'm gonna try the co-ord on okay guys so this is what the co-ord looks like I actually love it let me stand back I don't know if you can see it hold on one sec but yeah excuse the mess that is my bedroom but this is what the co-ord looks like this is from boohoo I'll link it below I think it was like 12 pounds really 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 nice the quality of the fabric feels amazing there's not too much tummy on show which is really nice the only downside is the um bit where it kind of like folds over at the back isn't staying folded over however i really like this definitely a good one for holidays possibly one for summer in the city if i'm tanned enough but i do really really like it and i like it with my hair too not right now obviously because your girl hasn't done her hair today but keeping it real so I'm gonna try the t-shirt on. So then this is the t-shirt, quite obviously not to be worn with the skirt. This is what it looks like. I love this, it's actually quite different cause I own a hell of a lot of stripy tops but I don't think that this is your average stripy top. So yeah, massive fan of this as well. I'll link them both below. The whole order plus delivery came to 30 pounds so that's pretty good. My room is now tidy. That took me literally three hours to get the motivation to do that. I kid you not. And wow, I look a bit rank. Um, I was going to do a trial of my prom makeup because my prom is a week today, as I've mentioned. But then I decided that I'd rather just like take my makeup off. Um, so I think I might do that tomorrow. And I actually might vlog it for you guys because I haven't done makeup in a while. And you saw that I got the new Violet Voss palette. And I think that it will maybe work for prom. But I do want to test it. I don't just want to do the makeup look on the day and then be like, oh my God, I hate this. So... Tomorrow is kind of my last free day. It's actually really stressful to be honest because like it's kind of the last free day I have until the middle, well, the like middle-ish of July. It's like quite a busy couple of weeks and I mean, I'm very excited, don't get me wrong, but I do need to try look makeup and my hair. I haven't had a hair trial and that does slightly put me on edge because I haven't decided how I want my hair. I think I'm just gonna bottle out and probably have it down because I was gonna have it up, but I think I might feel a bit self-conscious with my hair off my neck. Sometimes I think my hair acts as a bit of a like security blanket around my shoulders and I don't have much of it anymore. Yeah, I think I might have it down. But I just wanted to tell you, I actually finished the first book that I was reading, which was Beautiful Broken Things. And a lot of you guys asked me to update you when I finished it um, or when I read any of my books. I was so surprised at how many of you... Could you close my door? Yeah, I finished that and I really, really liked it. I... When I first started reading it, I was thinking, oh, this is kind of more a preteen book. Like, it, it felt like it was aimed at, like, maybe 13-year-olds, 14-year-olds. I did feel a little bit old for the target reader, but I still thought it was amazing. And the end, I saw it coming, but I still was shocked at the end. I was still, like, really sad um, at the end of it. And I think that even though you kind of see where it's heading and there are, like, clues the whole way through, yeah, it, it is really good. I really recommend it if you haven't already read it. Next book I'm going to read is this one. It's The Couple Next Door. I'll probably take this one and another one on holiday with me because what else do you do when you're on the beach all day? So this is my first one that I'm going to start reading now and I will let you guys know this is not a chick flick. This is a thriller, so we'll see. So for the first time ever, I have a TV set up in my room. Tom and I have decided we're watching bedtime stories because can you believe that Tom has never seen this film? I think I probably have. I am now going to end this vlog here. Tom and I are just about to watch bedtime stories. So gassed because I haven't seen the film since I was like probably about 12 and it used to be one of my favorite Disney films ever so I'm gonna leave it here I hope you have enjoyed smash the thumbs up if you have tomorrow will be um, a vlog of me starting to prepare for my holiday to Ibiza so I hope you're looking forward to that subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you all tomorrow night at 6 p.m. bye <laughs>